This video is sponsored by True Gold Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio for your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, February 16, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had another flare, an M3.03. This occurred right at 2200 UTC time or 5 p.m. Central time here. You can see that uh, it was a fairly strong flare. Now it looks like we have two sunspots exploded right around that exact time not just one and i'll let y'all be the judge of that over two go 16 solar ultraviolet imager 195 angstroms well ladies and gentlemen it looks like two sunspots actually flare at the same time we have three five seven six here they're actually attributing the m3.03 flare to that sunspot but we also have the new sunspot coming around that also flares at the exact same time. And they don't mention that, but we can see the flare and the plasma actually occur at the same time that AR3576 does. This is new sunspot AR3586. And it does look like it flares at the exact moment that the other sunspot flares. All right, over to our D region absorption prediction center taking a look at the radiation pouring in the poles we're still in a polar cap absorption event we've been in and out of a polar cap absorption event and a radiation storm for the last two weeks tons of radiation is still pouring in the poles we'll take a look at this last flare in just a moment as we get there I don't know why it flashes on and off like this. This must be something wrong with the model. Uh, you know, I trust Noah as far as I can throw them, but that is the flare probably right there. Please watch the timestamp. We're heading into 2200 right here, and that's 22. Well, it's lighting up again, even intensifying the polar cap absorption event here. About 2210 looks to be the peak, a short term flare, but fairly strong, and definitely adding to the radiation that are, well, seeping through our north and south poles and spreading around the entire globe for that matter. Again, we're being fried like eggs and no one wants to admit it. Taking a quick look at our solar disk, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sunspots earth facing. This is the sunspot that seemed to actually flare the same time that AR3576 did. That's AR3586, fairly complex, and has just come around the actual limb of our solar disk. All right, we can't really see AR3576, but they're always talking about the spirals, and they're saying that this is where the main connection to Earth really is, and I'll show you what they mean by that. But uh, this is the other new sunspot. You can see it's moved much further around, and this was taken several hours ago. It's probably closer to here, as we saw on goes solar ultraviolet imager and that's ar3586 shouldn't be hard to remember because the other one was ar3576 you can see how ugly the earth facing side of our sun looks this is soho turn 84 angstroms taken today at 706 this morning it looks like it was flaring at that point this is 3576 and I believe that this is probably 3586 right here. So big problems in little China for sure. Taking a look here. Well, they've got it 
x 2.56 out of 3576 here at 642 UTC time. Very, very short period. Very short term X flare. Then our M3, they're saying out of 3576, although 3586 also seem to flare at the same time. Current value is a C1.52. We're running at C baseline, 15% chance of an X flare. M class solar flare, 60% chance. And I guess they should put 100% chance of a C class flare here. With that said, we also have two near Earth objects inbound. One for today, the 16th, which we'll take a look at right now. And I'll do a separate video uh, on the one inbound for the 17th tomorrow. All right, as far as I know, JPL has just released this data. We'll take a look in just a second. This is Near Earth Object 2024 CT6 inbound for some time today. I don't know if it's already occurred yet because I've just seen this, but it looks like it's going to occur in the future, although the day, i.e. UTC time, is up in an hour. It really looks like it occurs on the 17th to me. We'll take a look. Bad news. This thing is moving very, very quickly. And there is some inclination. It's not on the same plane as our planets. Uh, but it's moving at 21 kilometers per second, which is one of the fastest near-Earth objects, comets, asteroids, meteors that I've seen. Uh, again, 2024 CT6. And we'll get some information or some more information on it right now. But I think it was just released. All right, solution date. They're saying it was the 15th. You know, I look at this 10 times a day and it wasn't up there. Uh, they said that they first saw it on the 14th, last observed on the 15th. Today's the 16th. I have no idea why they're not continuing to observe it. Obviously, only 12 observations, which means they don't know how big it is. The condition code of 7, which means they don't really know where it's headed. 7 being much closer to 9 than 0. 7 being 7 away from, well, 0 and 2 away from 9. So, highly uncertain as to where this rock is going. Obviously, automatic AI saw the rock. No human really ever does anything at JPL or NASA. Even with the $85 billion budget, let's see the close approach data. Taking a look at the close approach data, first off, we can see that they haven't extrapolated a lot of information as far as previous flybys and future flybys because they've only had 12 observations, which means they really don't know where it's headed and which means they really don't know what size the rock is. It looks like the rock has just flown by Earth. It looks like it came closer to the moon at 0 0.00194 than Earth at 0 0.0024. It did fly between the Earth and moon, but according to this, that occurred at 21.24. So we'll say about an hour and a half ago, according to this. Again, they've only seen the near-Earth object 12 times. Boy, it sure looks closer on the 17th here than uh, on the 16th to me. With that said, there's another rock headed in for tomorrow. I'll be putting out a video on it on one of the two channels uh, after this is played. Again, this near-Earth object is 2024 CT6, and we think it just flew by. God bless you and yours. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible. Bizarro world. God bless.